Okay, in this tutorial, uh, we just finished uh, a tutorial earlier today on downloading or streaming videos from YouTube using YouTube-DL, which was simple enough, um, and actually here's the uh, post on it. Um, now, there are some issues uh, with YouTube that we went over needing cookies to download certain videos, but most sites aren't that locked down. They try to hide the information from you, but it's really easy to find the link to the actual video and there's no cookies needed. Um, example in, that we're going to look at today is Vimeo, and then we'll also look at uh, some other uh, websites with videos that use a Flash player to play videos. Um, and, you know, some people don't like using Flash. Flash doesn't always run that great on all video cards. Um, also, you know, it's just it's just nice to be able to avoid flash and in some cases avoid advertisements as we did with uh, the YouTube uh, downloader you, you'll miss out on the advertisements which is a good and bad thing you know depending on what end of that uh, spectrum you're on anyway let's look at a site like Vimeo uh, we're going to go to actually blenderguru.com if you have not been there Andrew over at Blender Guru, Andrew Price does great great amazing Blender tutorials, and he posts his videos on Vimeo. So let's uh, have an example here. We'll go to this one where he does a little uh, animated logo in Blender. We'll click on that, and um, you can see right here that the tutorial is done in Vimeo, and we can click on the Vimeo link here. And in many cases, with Vimeo, you can scroll down, and if you're logged in, you can download this video. In this case, no problem. Well, there are some times where there's a limit to the number of downloads per day, so if a lot of people have downloaded this video, uh, it will be unavailable, which happens a lot when uh, people post popular videos the first day you go there and you can't. Um, other times, the viewer just disables the ability to download videos. As I said, in this case, no problem, we can click on this link and download it. But let's say that you were in one of those circumstances where it was unavailable. Well, you can still download it. If you're running Firefox 4 or newer, you'll have the console built in. If not, you can try the Firebug plugin to do similar things. But we're going to do uh, Control-Shift-K. Opens up your console. I've shown this before in tutorials. And all we have to do at this point, we start that up before we start playing our video. Now, when we click play, and we can even pause the video right away. You can see a few things start up here, and you can see right here that one of the links is an MP4. Well, gee, I wonder if that's our video. Now, if there were a bunch of things loaded, a lot to go through, you can always filter through. You can type in things like MP4 and see what comes up. You can also try FLV as an also common format, MOVs, AVIs, AUGs, Aug videos, you know, until you find what you're looking for. In this case, and in many cases, MP4 is going to be very common. All we have to do right here is copy this link, and then we can open up our terminal. So we'll open this up here. Let me make it a little bit larger. Not that large. There we go. And I'm just going to go to my temp folder. At this point, we can just type mplayer and paste in that link. Now, when you copy it from the terminal or the console in Firefox, it does give you a little extra tidbits at the beginning and end there. Just cut out everything but the um, actual URL and uh, just for safe measures put quotations around it. And at this case I can hit enter and mplayer will start streaming that video. Give it a second here to buffer. There we go. Good day guys and well so we can escape to get out of that. That's one thing you do if you just want to stream the video. Same thing uh, though if you want to download it now you can just use wget and uh, since this will save it with a random name like uh, this five, probably this 532218222.mp4, I might even throw in some of this extra variable stuff after it in the file name. Since we're going to be downloading it and we know what video it is now to keep things organized, we can do dash capital O and just give the output of, you know, something like Blender Guru, whoops, dot AVI, or actually in this case, mp4. And we hit enter and wget will start downloading that video right away and that way you can have that video saved even if it's unavailable at Vimeo. I'm going to control C to kill that and we'll clear out the screen. Let's have a look at another site. By the way you can hit control shift K again to close that uh, terminal if you'd like. I'm going to do a Google search here though. I'm going to do a Google search for NBC2. That's our local news uh, channel here. 
Um, East Naples Fire layoffs. East Naples Fire is where I work uh, work at, and they did a uh, a little uh, news video on us earlier uh, about a week or two ago. I posted it on uh, YouTube. Some of you may have seen it. Um, but the way I downloaded that so I could upload it to YouTube was I went to this page right here where the video is located. <clears throat> and what I did was before I pressed play, I hit Control Shift K to open up that terminal or console and I'll press play. Now at this point, at Southwest Florida College, they play an advertisement. And that advertisement um, is an MP4 file right here. So this is not the MP4 file we want. Our main video hasn't started playing. And there we go. We got some other stuff here. Once again, if you want, you can filter it by typing MP4 here. And the second one is the video we want. So I can now copy that. I can even close this uh, little tab here. Go back to our terminal, and once again, I can just do M player, and I can Control Shift V to paste that in. Erase the extra data, and just get the URL here. And I can hit Enter, and ta-da! We have that video playing in M player. No need for Flash to be installed. And also, once again, we can again do wget dash capital O, and we'll just call this MBC 2mp 4 and it will start downloading it to that file, and I can have it saved, and now I can upload it elsewhere, store it for my records, uh, put it on my backup uh, server, so that years from now I can look back and say, hey, remember those bad times when things were bad, but things are better now? Um, so, that's it. Uh, this should work for a majority of sites. I can't promise it will work for all. You know, like YouTube, it doesn't work, but luckily we have YouTube-DL for YouTube. Um, so, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, there's links in the description. I'll have the sample code for this stuff. Well, really, there's no sample code because it's using Firefox built in. I'm sure that uh, Chrome probably has a feature like this as well. And uh, one of the things we're going to be playing with with WebKit in the near future will be basically uh, a GUI application that once you go to a page will grab all the video files for you and you can choose them, choose to download or stream them. That's something I have planned. So keep watching on Fridays, Python Fridays, uh, and we're doing a bunch of stuff with WebKit. And uh, in the coming weeks, hopefully, we'll have something that basically does what we just went over. I thank you for watching, and once again, I hope that you have a great day.